What is going on, everyone? My name is Joseph Reynolds, and today joining me is Mr. Will Perrin ahead of his next fight on UK FC against Alex Home. Ahead of that fight, how are you feeling for it, buddy? Yeah, I feel I feel very good. Um, I'm quite uh quite excited for it because uh Alex Alex is a great opponent. He's an absolute beast, and I just can't wait to compete against him in the cage of UKFC. So it's going to be really good. I can't wait. 100%. And as well, to, to sort of have this fight and knowing if you win it, it's a great next step to sort of take in your amateur career with a win over Alex Helm as well. Do you feel as though this is going to be sort of one of those fights where with a win there, it is what's going to be able to let you take that next step in your amateur career? Uh, I believe so, yes. Like, each fight, I try I try my best to get the hardest fights as possible, really. I want, I want to, like, step step up in game as, as hard as possible and and uh, Alex home like massive massive step up in competition for me so I'm quite excited to put myself to the test with that and if I, if I lose or um it's just a lesson like you know I, I want the hardest fights and I want to keep on progressing each fight so just like I'm doing now 100 percent and you've always so as well as you mentioned you've always thought there was tough fights as well there's been wins and there's been losses but in terms of sort of gaining this experience obviously it sets you up well for for the pro switch when that does eventually come down the line yes. but do you feel as though it's just important to get all of the, as many fights as you sort of possibly can as an amateur oh, 100% yeah i to be honest joe i, I want to get like 20, 20 amateur fights if more do you know what i mean i, I want to get as many as i can as, like and just keep on building up the resume and having hard fights and then when i go to the eventually go to the pro ranks i'm not shy of having the toughest competition so i want to oh yeah that's the that's the way i'm that's the way i'm thinking about it i don't know if that's the right way or what but i, I just think that's that's the way for me so yeah and, and as well obviously taking a look at this fight and, and what alex will sort of bring to the cage as well taking a look at that how do you sort of see this fight being and what are you looking to sort of show the fans when you do step inside the cage you know what mate i just i just go in and fight I can't lie to you, mate. I, I just want to fight. Um, like I have seen Alex is itching for a fight as well, and I just think it's gonna be a great fight. I can't can't say any more really about it. Um I don't I don't yeah, I'm just gonna go in and fight, to be honest, Joe. Uh it's gonna be a great fight. Hundred percent. And then as well, in terms of sort of looking at the preparation for this fight as well, getting closer to the day when it does come around. Is there ever that sort of mentality shift when you are closer to the fight? And as well for the preparation for this one, how has that sort of been for you so far? Yeah, so like, I'm quite, um, I've got, I've got a bit of a, a calm attitude towards it. Like I'm quite in the cage, I'm quite relaxed, chilled. And leading up to the fight, um, I just, I just have like a different, switch my brain just like every other fight does where it's just right it's go time you know so um yeah I'm, it'll, it'll come around soon and, and um when it does i'm i'm just in i'm in my zone and i'm ready to go so 100 percent. and as well I, i'm sure in this fight they may have sort of pitted the underdog as well oh, in sorry, a sense. no no problem um, just <laughs> my property at all. I think they're taking. That's no, right. Sorry, no worries. Sorry, Mark. Sorry. <laughs> That's brilliant. That. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Don't apologise, Joe. No, not a problem whatsoever. So obviously, I'm sure coming up, travelling up north. Obviously, they may have you sort of as the underdog in that fight. But so to almost go in there, almost the pressure is sort of on him more than you. No one really knows what they could be expecting to see if they haven't seen you before. Yeah. You feel as though it takes that pressure off, knowing that. You sort of going in there. There's not as much pressure as there may be on him. No, exactly. Um, to be honest, mate. Um, I I just I know for a fact, like me just going in there and putting on an absolute like absolutely great fight. Really, like um, I just want obviously I want to go in and win. Um, but obviously I just want to level up in competition. I just want to get better. Like the amateur wins and losses for me is it's great getting the wins and it's obviously bad getting the losses. But at the end of the day, it's professional. That's when you. That's when it counts. Do you know what I mean? So I, I just want to make sure I get the hardest competition I can. And Alex Home is by far one, the biggest step up in competition for me. So I really want to um, test myself with that. So it'll be great. 100%. And then as well, so obviously, you won't be looking past this fight. But even after this one, I'm, I'm sure you'll maybe looking to compete again this year. But for the rest of this year, how many sort of more fights are you looking to get? And what are you sort of hoping comes from this fight? Yes. So um, to be honest, if 
don't know if it'll be me uh, being rude asking, but if I do, if I do end up winning this fight, I'd like a title shot for UKFC. Um, that'd be that'd be great. Unless if there's other lads in the pipeline, I don't know, but yeah, that would that'd be great. Um, if not, um, I've got a Muay Thai debut. Uh, I think C class in no uh, December. Sorry. So um, yeah, I'm looking to make a statement in the Muay Thai scene as well. Um, and I just want to um. Yeah, just keep on doing doing that in you know Muay Thai sense <laughs> in December. So I'll be doing that, and then before then, um, I'm gonna try and get um another Muay Thai fight um on fight on that fight series. I think that's the name of the show, but um yeah, so it should be good really. Man, I'm looking, looking to get some more fights in this year for sure. Hundred percent, and as well obviously competing down south and then coming up north as well. It seems as though almost I love it, mate. I love it. The north and the south. It's completely different in terms of how MMA works. But do you feel as though being able to to be able to get up north as well and fight there, or even train there in the future as well, and then having south as well? How has it sort of been fighting in the south? And do you feel as though there's as much going on in MMA down south as there is up north? To be honest, mate, it's I just. I love both worlds, you know, like the Northern fans, are like class, man. I, I love them. I love them. They're brilliant. Even the booze. I don't, I don't mind the booze because it's all, it's all banter really in it. But um, when like, you know, in terms, in terms of uh, competition, that's hard to say. It, it is, it is hard to say because of my uh, second, not the last opponent I just fought, but the other opponent was Bulgarian. He was like a Bulgarian wrestler, but he was from down South and he, he was a very, very hard, um, very hard man, but um, and and up north, and it's you, you know Dane Bolton had a fight Dane Bolton from Manchester top team. He was crisp as anything with a striking, and um, yeah, so it's hard, mate. It's hard because the competition varies really, but in terms of atmosphere, it's it's hard, mate. Because I love both worlds. The northern fans are brilliant. Uh, I love the southern fans as well. So I don't know. I'm a people pleaser. I, I, I just wanna. Yeah, it's hard, man. So I don't know. Um, yeah, I can't can't make a decision on that. But. Yeah, and you, and you touched on that, that the Dane Bolton fight as well. I believe that was the last time you was on UKFC as well. Yes, but that's it. obviously, t looking back at that fight and then seeing what you've done since then, what do you feel are going to be some of the biggest differences from the first time we saw you on the UKFC to so the second time now coming round? You'll see a very different fighter. That's that's all I would say. Um, after that fight, I've I took I took a step back and thought right I need to I need to up my game in in terms of striking and this and and following up the punches now and you you'll see that I I can strike in this next fight and I can grapple and uh, I just want to be an all rounder so you'll see you'll see it all really I don't want to say too much because my mentality is I just go in there and fight wherever it goes I go you know so um that's just that's just me really Joe. 100%. And then just a final thing for myself. I know you touched on it a little bit in terms of what the people can expect to see in the cage, but if there's anything else to add, come find out in UKFC, what is it that people can expect to see inside the cage from Mr. Will Perrin? Great fight. Me and Alex are going to put on a great fight. He's a great opponent and we're going to put on an absolute war. Either a war or a mad grappling exchange. I don't know. Wherever, wherever it goes, I know me and Alex are going to put on a great fight for the fans. So, that's the main thing. It'll be great. 100%. And, uh, thank you nice. so much, Joe. Absolute pleasure. That is everything from myself. If you would like to take a chance to any sponsors, teammates, things like that, obviously feel free to go ahead, buddy. Oh, God. I've got them written down, mate, I think. I just, I've, got, I've got a few. I need, to, I need to start remembering them, Joe, to be fair. But um, these are the guys I want to shout out to. Um. I'm I'm so new to this interview stuff. It's my first one, Joe, so I'm not used to this. I'm quite, I was quite nervous, to be fair, mate. But, um, yeah, shout out to Comic Coffee UK, Isle of White Mushrooms, Dan Noy Sports Massage Therapist, Luckham Hall Hotel, Thatcher Stone Masons, Artisan Cafe, TJ Vodka, Charlie Ashton, Charlie Ashton's Handyman Services, can't even speak English, Willpower Fitness, PT and Coach, and Floating on Air. Thank you, guys. Appreciate your... Thank you. There you go. Well, that's everything from me. Obviously, UKFC, a great card and a great fight as well between yourself and Alex Home. Appreciate your time today, buddy. No, thank, thank you, very you much. Joe. Sorry about the family walking in earlier. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't really no, Not a problem at all. Not a problem. <laughs> Sorry, <I'm doing> <laughs> thank you, guys.